Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao and Sukumar Pati. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3 and problem 2.35. Three equal inextensible strings of negligible weight are knocked together to form an equilateral triangle ABC and a weight W is suspended from A. If the triangle and weight are to be supported with BC horizontal by means of two strings at B and C as shown in the figure and each at an angle of alpha is equal to 135 degrees with BC. Find the tension in the string 3. That means there are three strings 1, 2, 3. All these three strings are knocked together at A, B and C. A weight W is attached and the total system is to be supported by two strings which are placed at B and C. Now our interest is to find the tension in the string 3. That is the given problem. Now, in order to solve this problem, we required a very simple concept that is if any system consisting of string or rope or wire etc the developed force is along the string and it is away from the point of observation. Now with this concept let us go to the solution of this problem. At A the strings 1, 2 and 3 forms an equilateral triangle. That means this angle may be considered as 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Let us try to analyze the point by point. First, let us take the point A. At A, weight W is acting downwards and two strings 1 and 2 are tied at A. We can clearly see that the weight is acting downwards. The forces in strings 1 and 2 is along those strings and it is away from point A because our point of interest is A. So this I can consider as the force in string 2 S2 and this I can consider as the force in string 1 that is S1. Now I can transfer all these three forces onto a separate XY plane. So let me transfer all those three forces. Now first I am transferring the weight W, next S2 and then next S1. Now the angle between S1 and S2 is given that is 60. There are three forces. All three forces are concurrent and all three forces are divergent. Hence I can apply the sign rule. Now according to that sign rule, the force W divided by sine of angle between the other two forces S1 and S2 that is 60 is constant. That means W by sine 60 is equal to S1 divided by angle between these two forces W and S2. Now this angle clearly we can say this is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. And since this angle is 60, I can say this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees. If this angle is 30, I can, I can consider that this angle is 60. Hence, the angle between W and S2 becomes 150. Hence, I can write this is S1 divided by sine 150. Similarly, S2 divided by angle between S1 and W. How I can say, clearly we can say this angle is 90 degrees and since this angle is 30 degrees, I can say this angle is 60 degrees and hence the angle between S1 and W becomes 150 degrees. So I can write this is S2 by sine 150. Now S1 by sine 150 is equal to S2 by sine 150. That means clearly we can say S1 is equal to S2 and you can equate this, these two so I can say S1 is equal to S2 is equal to W by sine 60 into sine 150 which gives the value of 
पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन डबल but our interest is to find the force in string 3 that is s3 to analyze that you can take either point b or point c let us consider the point b the various forces that are acting at b are of course the force in string 1 s1 it is away from point b and the force in the string that is s4 and similarly the force in string 3 that is s3 let me transfer all those three forces onto a separate xy plane like this so this one is s1 and i know that s1 is equal to 0.577w so i can substitute directly that s1 is equal to 0.577w and s3 which is horizontal and s4 given that the angle between s1 and s3 is equal to 60 degrees and the angle between s3 and s4 is equal to alpha that is equal to 135 degrees that is also given in the problem itself so this angle becomes 60 and this angle becomes 135 degrees now there are three forces all three forces are concurrent and all three forces are divergent so i can apply the sine rule so according to the sign rule i can say s1 that is 0.577w divided by sin of angle between the other two forces s3 and s4 that is 135 so i can say it is 0.577w by sin 135 similarly s3 divided by angle between these two forces i required angle between these two forces i required how i can find now this angle is given as 60 so i can say this is 30 and angle between these two is 90 degrees this is 135 so this becomes 45 hence the total angle between s1 and s4 becomes 90 plus 45 plus 30 which gives the value of 165 degrees hence i can say it is s3 divided by sin 165 similarly s4 s4 divided by angle between these two forces that is s3 and s1 which is 60 so i can say it is s4 by sin 60 our interest is to find the value of s3 so just take these two expressions then i can find s3 is equal to 0.577w by sin 135 into sin 165 which gives the value of 0.211w the same problem you can also solve using the method of resolutions now this is a free body diagram at point a i can resolve this s2 into two components one is along x axis another one is along y axis similarly s1 also i can resolve along x axis and along y axis w is vertical you need not to resolve now a at a there are three forces the first force is weight w acts downwards so you need not to resolve s2 which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical that means it makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal similarly s1 also makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal so i can resolve this s2 into two components one is along horizontal direction another one is along vertical direction so the horizontal component since s2 makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal hence horizontal component is cos and vertical component is sin similarly s1 makes an angle 60 with the horizontal hence horizontal component becomes cos and the vertical component becomes sin now we can see here s2 s2 cos 60 is the horizontal component s2 sin 60 is the vertical component similarly s1 cos 60 is the horizontal component and s1 sin 60 is the vertical component now i can apply the equilibrium equation there are only two forces along x axis so i can take this direction is my positive direction 
Hence, I can say S2 cos 60 is equal to S1 cos 60 or I can say S1 is equal to S2. Similarly, I can take sigma Fy is equal to 0. I will take the upward direction is positive. So, I can write S1 sin 60 plus S2 sin 60 is equal to W. From the above expression, I know that S1 is equal to S2. I can substitute here. Then I can say 2S1 into sin 60 is equal to W. And upon substituting the value of S1 and of simplification, I will get S1 is equal to 0.577W, which is also equals to S2. Similarly, if you consider the free body diagram at B, there are three forces. S3 is horizontal, but S1 and S4 are inclined forces. These forces we need to resolve. Clearly, we can see S1 makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. So, this force I can resolve like this. And this horizontal component is cos component. Vertical component is sine component because S1 makes an angle 60 with the horizontal. Now, let us see, look at this. So, S3 is horizontal, you need not to resolve. So, now you can see S1 cos 60 is the horizontal. S1 sin 60 is vertical. Similarly, this S4, so this makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. So, you can resolve this force like this. And the horizontal component is the cos component. So, it is S4 cos 45 and the vertical component is S4 sin 45. I can apply the equilibrium equations sigma fx is equal to 0, sigma fy is equal to 0. Here my interest is to find S3. So, so if you consider sigma fy is equal to 0, there are only two forces. I can consider upward direction is positive. So, S4 sin 45 is equal to S1 sin 60. And I know that S1 is equal to 0.577W. I can substitute. And after solving, I will get S4 is equal to 0.77W. Similarly, sigma fx is equal to 0. I will take right direction is the positive direction. And I can say that S1 cos 60 plus S3 is equal to S4 cos 45. And I know that S1 is equal to 0.577W and S4 is equal to 0.77W. So, substitute all those values and I can solve the value of S3 that is 0.211W which is the answer for this given problem.